Hi everybody. So what I first started was taking a shower and I shampooed my hair. I also went ahead and conditioned it. Jumping right out of the shower, you can see me applying leave-in conditioner and I'm making sure I coat as many strands as I can possible. Shedding your hair is inevitable, I think with any hair type. You just gotta push through and I am finishing up getting the other half of my hair all nice and coated with the leave-in conditioner. After I finger coat my hair with the leave-in conditioner, I do like to go ahead and brush it through as well to get as many strands as we can possible now with the brush. I am new to the hair game and what's been a real game changer for me is not only applying the leave-in conditioner but right after sealing it with hair oil and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and coat as many strands possible and then proceed to brush through that oil to get the product and seal it, all that conditioner in. Again, it makes such a difference on keeping my hair sleek keeping my hair moisturized because the hair oil is again sealing it in. section of hair and I connect it to the front section and twist it and just keep going like that all the way down till the end of my head where I will then transition this into a regular braid and then go ahead and tie it. I would recommend using this type of rubber band for your hair or a soft scrunchie. These small rubber bands that I used kept popping off and I think that was due to the hair oil and those small rubber bands. It's been a while since I had purchased them and it's my first time doing this whole combo. And then I go ahead and do the next section until it is all nice and twisted.
braid your hair and then there's just like I mean just I really try to work on not making sure everything's so perfect because there's it's not super perfect but it's cute. Here. I hardly do my face upward. The hairstyle is cute as this, and then how cute of an aftermath it can be. <laughs> so, this is after work, how my hair ended up. Now, I could definitely retouch my braids during work, but it's pretty busy so I didn't notice. This is how it's looking. I went ahead and just got out of the shower. This is how I protected my hair from the water. We're not gonna wash our hair with these few days that we are spending trying to get this straight hair to wavy. I'm also gonna go ahead and lightly spray it with some water lightly is most likely what you're gonna do in every scenario going forward with water now you're welcome to put in some more leave-in conditioner if that's how you feel your hair needs I just went ahead and put on some oil right after the water and then I'm gonna put it back in that style I had it that way we can keep it braided up and give us those nice beautiful ways I'm looking for.
everybody this is how i woke up my plastic hair rubber bands did pop off due to the oil so please again use one of those hair ties or soft scrunchies that way you won't end up with the result that i did in the end but we'll get there What ended up happening this morning, I was headed out of town early in the morning, which is not my normal routine. Due to sleeping in as long as I could, all I had energy for was to touch up those ends and secure it with a hair tie. What I would recommend is to restyle your hair again. I don't have an exact science to my res results of wavy hair, but I know for me playing with products with success and failure is what I can tell y'all to do yourselves, is play and have fun with these products. That way, when you know you want your hair a certain way, you've done the practice, you know what to do with it. I'm sure if I was on my regular routine, I would have done one of two things. I would have either slightly sprayed it with water, then lightly coated my hair with leave-in conditioner and sealed it with hair oil again. Or, I would have slightly sprayed it with water, then topped it off with some hair oil, then restyling it back into those braids. For me, it's the practice of playing with hair that I understand my best options of what to take. I did skip day 2 p.m. on my hair retouch up I would have done the normal stuff that I did on day 1 p.m. restyling it seeing what product it might need depending on if it needs anything extra it was just so busy the night before the day was also busy going out of town and coming back so I woke up this next morning and I am trying to get my kids to daycare and I am not about to walk into daycare with what I woke up with. So you're going to see me just take all these out. I'm also going to lightly spray it with some hairspray and what I like to do is switch the part as well. That way there's a lot more volume in my side part.
this is me in the afternoon i came back home washed my face put fresh new makeup on and these are the results from all that hard work guys okay guys i'm back inside and this is my hair it's about one in the afternoon so this is what you're gonna get with the prep that i've done and this was totally accidental on how I figured this out with trial and error. So it gives me a little bit of fun in my hair after having given braids for a few days. So thank you for watching. And if you like it, have fun uh, and play with this product. It's really fun to do all this. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.